Hey folks, Ryan here from Mistral's Gaming and welcome to another solo playthrough video with me today. And I'm going to be taking a look at Pandemic Iberia, which is I believe the game that kicked off this whole Pandemic Systems Games lineup of different themes and enjoyability with the Pandemic Games. And you can tell this was one of the original ones because we're still fighting disease cubes across the whole, I believe it is Spain and Portugal is our area of choice but with a few extra little things that have been tagged on to the gameplay and so i am very very excited to show off this particular game in this in this lineup and in this series pandemic iberia is designed by jesus torres castro and matt leacock and published by z man games all righty so why don't we just get on to the gameplay and before we do make sure that you are putting likes on these videos if you're enjoying the content on this channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and that notification bell is there in case you want to get notified every time that i go live on tuesday evenings and when these videos decide to come out all righty well why not let's hop on over to the gameplay area where we are taking a look at Pandemic Iberia. And we've got it all set up for our three player game. I know some of these games have these solo variants where you control just three characters in one hand of cards. I really like it that I'm just kind of, kind of being three players at the table. And yes, I've got my cubes are all, my diseases are all spread across the land here. And I have our rural doctor. He is starting in Coimbra over here. The, our agronomist here is starting in Cartagena, and our railwayman is starting over here in Malaga. And those were chosen because they are actually cards that are in our hands. And why not? Let's take a look at what our characters can actually do here. Our rural doctor here is the character that it says when you do the treat disease action, you may remove one cube from your city and then one additional cube from your city or a different city in an adjacent area. So they are very, very good at what they do is treating disease cubes. Our agronomist here, it says as an action, you may place a purification token into an adjacent region. Or when you do the purify water action, you may place one additional purification token into that region. Uh, yes, we have these purification tokens that we have a very limited supply of. And they can go into regions. So in case uh, a cube decides to want to go into one of the cities in that enclosed region, well, you can just take away one of these purification tokens instead. So they are really good at putting them on because usually it requires a, a card from your hand in order to put some um, uh, those tokens onto the board. And then we've got our railwayman where it says once per turn, when you do the build railroad action, you may place two consecutive railroad tokens starting from your city. And when you do the move by train action, you may take one pawn in your city with you. Yes, this map, we are allowed to build out these train these railway line tokens and those will allow us to actually move across this map a lot a lot faster as long as you are able to travel along a connected railway line for one move action you can move to anywhere along that line which is very very handy especially if you want to get try to get next to or into certain areas really really fast in order to maybe pass off some cards to other people Let's go over um, some of the actions that we're allowed to do on our turns. We can, just like every other pandemic game, we can move by carriage or by boat. You can move to a city connected by a line. So you can always just move to any connected city. You can move by ship. We, so you can move between two port cities by discarding a city card matching the color of your destination. Lots of these cities along the edge of the board have these anchor icons on them. And so you can travel from one to the other as long as you discard a card of where to, of the color of where you are going. And then, of course, I just described that move by train action. You can go to a you can move from one city to another as long as you can travel along a connected railway line as an action you can always put down a railroad token uh, in, uh, next to a line that is connected to your city you can treat a disease by removing one disease cube from your current city you can do the purify water action you can discard a card matching a 
color uh, of a city in an adjacent region or of a researched disease to add up to two purification tokens in that particular region. We can build hospitals. And this is going to be the main way that we're going to be able to win the game. We have to do have to get those hospitals built. Discard the card of the matching your current city to build the hospital of that color there. And then when we're at a hospital, we can discard five cards of the same color um, to, of the matching hospital. And then we can research the disease. And that is how we win the game is once we have all four diseases researched. And of course, there's always the share knowledge action, which is either give the card that matches your city to another player or another player. You can take the card from another player. The other player must also be in the city with you. Alrighty, so those are our actions. We win the game by... Getting all of those all those diseases researched, we lose the game if we have to put down a any of the any of the disease cubes, and we have ran out of them. We also will start losing the game if we ever run out of player cards in this player card uh, deck. And yes, and I'm also playing with the variant here, which is I believe they refer to it as the influx of patience challenge. Um, Notice that some of these hospital tokens already have some purification tokens on them. We can get more purification tokens to our supply by building out those hospitals. But once hospitals get built out here, patients are going to start moving towards those hospitals um, and they could possibly be overrun. And that's another way that these outbreaks could possibly occur. Okay, and I think we are good to go. And I have got I've got this token here. This is supposed to be for there's a character called the nurse in this game. We're not playing with that character today, so I'm just gonna actually just use this token to kind of show who which character is our active character for the particular turn. Okay, so without further ado, I think our rural doctor is going to take the first turn of the game. And right now we don't know what kind of you know hospitals or anything we're going to want to um, be researching yet so I think the rural doctor I think their first turn is that they're going to treat some cubes here they'll treat here in Coimbra right where they are and when they do that they can remove an extra cube from their city or another city in the adjacent region but so they'll take two cubes away from Coimbra that's their first action uh, I think a second action will be, I think we're going to try to get some places connected here. Uh, we do know Coimbra is going to come up into this area a few times. So let's build a railway into this place. So there's a second action and then three. And then, you know what? I think I'm going to put down another railway token over here to Toledo. There we go. Just to maybe start getting some things connected here. I know I, they're going to want to get into this region down here. There are a lot of black cubes. Actually, there's two cities here that have three cubes in them at all. We didn't actually start with any red cubes on the board, which is actually quite surprising. Okay, after you've done your four actions, this is where the patients would start moving towards their hospitals, but we don't have any hospitals on the board just yet. So we will just do their drawing of the player cards here and... Okay, we got the new rails event card. Add two railroad tokens anywhere on the board. Not possible on dashed lines. Okay, well, I think we will hold on to that one for the time being because we don't know exactly where we're going to want to go. And we got the Lisboa card as well. We also started off with a couple other event cards here. Um, telegraph message. This one allows players uh, a player to give another player some cards. And then we got one more day, which would give uh, the active player two more actions. And now we are going to infect cities. And right now we start off with infecting two more cities. So let's just do that. So Bilbao Bilbo is going to get a cube that is way up there. And Gijon, which is also ooh, way, way up there. Okay, and I guess now that means our agronomist is going to start taking their turns. And they are all the way down, all the way over here. 
And I do think that they do want to eventually get up into this look because there are a lot of cubes up in this region. And I think using their power to put down purification tokens would be very beneficial um, up in that region. But unfortunately, they are quite the ways away from there right now. So perhaps. Hmm. We could actually, you know help them get there a little bit quicker by putting down some uh, railway tokens to make them get one less action. So if they marry one, two, three, oh, then that would only be four. Yikes. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, getting them over there is going to be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult, I would say, indeed. So, oh my gosh. One, two, three. And then they can probably just treat one in Barcelona. Four to start things off. Sure. Well, actually, I'm okay. I'm going to put some railway tokens down right away here. Uh, and we will put a couple. I think where we will kind of get them going is up in this area here we'll put one in between here and one in between here so that when they go to do their actions they can go one two three and then they'll just treat a cube in barcelona to start and then hopefully on their next turn they can start littering that area with some they can start littering their area with some a uh oh uh purification tokens Let's do that. No hospitals on the board, so we'll do the drawing the player cards. Ooh, another yellow card. That's actually really good for them. And a blue card. We'll infect some cities, as in Cartagena, where they they just left that area. And oh, another another area. Tar oh, right where right in between, right where we were. Tarragona. I want to say that's how you pronounce it. Okay, now we're on to our railwaymen, which, okay, they can, as an action, they can put down, once per turn, they can put down some railway lines, which is always really good. And I think we're going to start getting them connected down here, but I think they're going to first go, I think they're going to first go one, Two, we'll treat a disease cube. Three, and then we're going to build some railway lines in between here, there, because there are special actions that they could put down two as long as they are connected. And then hopefully we can then, our rural doctor can get something connected going in here. Okay. That is their turn. Pretty straightforward. No hospitals on the board just yet, so they'll draw some player cards. Braga and Burgos. Okay, so they're very quite diversified in their cards. Not a whole heck of a lot happening right now. So I guess we will then infect our cities, which will be Teruel, another yellow city. And Gibratlar, which, where are you, Gibratlar? Way, way down in the peak down here, way down in the peak. Okay, I guess that is the way that that is going to go. We're going to come over to our rural doctor, which, hmm, let's move over one. Put a railway token down to. I think that is okay. Um, three and then four. I guess they'll just remove a couple cubes from that area. So we're kind of getting some things connected over here so we can kind of bounce back and forth. We do need to kind of make our way up into this area now. Um, but I think we might be able to do that. On the railway turn, they can actually put down some more railway tokens, and that'll be actually good for us. 
no hospitals are built so we'll just grab some cards and oh there's our first epidemic card and then another yellow card uh okay so we'll increase the infection rate we will infect a brand new city so we'll draw the bottom card and we'll infect toledo which is where we just came from so Toledo's going to get three cubes and then we will intensify me. We're going to take this big old discard pile. We are going to shuffle it up, shuffle it up and put it back on top. I'm just going to make sure I got them facing the right way. We'll put it back on top of the infection deck. And so these cards are pretty much going to be the usually how i how it goes is usually these are going to be the ones that are going to be the ones that are going to be the problem areas for us now from now on so we got a lot of yellow in there a lot of black too not too much blue or red and we will infect so terragona which was this one right here and gibraltar pretty much I'm saying that one wrong over there okay so that was our rural doctor's turn and now we're going to go on to our agronomist which they are very very close I think they can probably oh they should probably do the purify water action I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking so oh man if they had if they would have had a red card they could have actually done this region because there is a red there is a red city connected to this region so they could have actually spent a red card to do that rather i don't want them to spend that yellow card well maybe we have to maybe we have to actually why not do it this way I can actually go over to I know there's lots of yellow cubes in here that's actually probably not the greatest but maybe we do it this way I kind of want no oh my gosh what do I want to do what do I want to do okay let's treat let's treat a disease in Barcelona one Let's do two. We'll just put a purification token into that region. We will go three over to Zargoza. And yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it this way. We'll do four. We're going to build a hospital in Zargoza because I have the Zargoza card. So that automatically treats that cube. This hospital comes into Zargoza and then we get instantly get access to these two uh, purification tokens. That's going to be their turn. So now after their actions, we get to move patients. So we take a look at which patients are the closest to Zargoza. There is one in Barcelona here and there is one in Tyrul. They are both one location away um so i guess we get to pick and i will just end up taking i'll just take this one from Teruel over here over to there okay now they will draw their two cards okay another yellow card that is okay all oh, right perfect another yellow card so they just need one more yellow card and they can actually treat uh sorry research that yellow disease that is actually really really good for us because we do have a yellow card in play we do have a yellow card in play if they can meet up in valencia that would actually be really really handy okay let's infect our cities which will be toledo which is an outbreak for us that'll be our first outbreak and toledo is only connected to a few cities there we go well, at least at least toledo wasn't connected to a whole bunch of cities that those ones are always the worst 
And then our other city is going to be Akaruna, which is all the way up in the top part of the board. Okay. Well, that was fun. Not. Let's move on over to our Railwaymen, which we could probably get. Okay, I know exactly where they're going to put their two railway tokens. They're going to connect here. So that's one action. So now Coimbra all the way up to Barcelona is connected via railroad. We are going to then go... Oh my gosh, where are we going to go? Um, let's see here. Where should we go? They can't really pass off any cards to anybody. But maybe they can just go and like start building out some more railway line for ourselves. Like maybe Zargoza needs to be also connected. Ooh. Okay, so there's one. Actually, we'll go two, three up to Toledo, and four will treat another disease cube in Toledo. Just to kind of keep things a little bit at bay. Okay, so that's their four actions. Disease cubes are going to move. Then the closest one is from Barcelona over to this hospital. There we go. And we will draw their cards. Three, four, five. Uh, remember, hand limit is seven. Okay, so they get another black card. Oh, they got two more black cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, that is pretty darn good for us. Billa Boa and Malaga, which is all the way back down here again. Okay. And we'll hop on over to our good old rural doctor, which is very, he's very good at treating these disease cubes. So why not let him do his thing like we will take when one and one away from an adjacent uh, region city. So there's one action. Let's do let's do it again to and let's go all the way over to three up to here. And then I'm going to do it again. Now I just got to I just got to read his text again. It says uh da 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 and one additional cube from your city or from a different city in an adjacent region. So, okay, I am reading that right. So I can treat it from here. So I can treat it from Tarragona. And then I can also, since Zargoza is in an adjacent region, I could take away a cube from there as well. So there you go. There's my four actions for the good rural doctor. And... I think, yeah, I think that is it. So we get to move patients. There is only just the yellow hospital that is here. And these cubes are one, two away. This cube is also one, two away. These ones are one, two, three away. So I guess maybe tar this one's just going to move. Oh, it'll just move one city closer this way. We'll go, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, they have to draw their player card. They are at five, so they can take two more. One, two. Okay, so they're getting good at blue so far. Maybe that might be something for that we can do. And we will infect our cities, which will be Barcelona and Jayan. That's, that's actually a new one. Is it that's is that a new one? I think that's a new one. Where are you? Where is that city? J it's a oh, it's right down here, right there. There we go. Nope, that wasn't that was one of the originals. Never mind. Okay. And now we are on to our good agronomist. Which they can um they should be able to do this. 
as long as they do the two, three, four, five, six. So I guess they can do the telegraph message event. Um, not an action. One player may give one or two city cards to one other player anywhere on the board. And I think that our good rural doctor will give them the Valencia card. So I can do that. And now, one, two, three, four, five. That's five. We can research the yellow disease. Discard them all. And now the yellow disease has been researched. And now any time we want to purify our region, we can just discard a yellow card whenever they come up. And, oh my gosh, what? I think I think I messed up here. Barcelona should not have received a cube. This this uh, token should have actually been removed instead. I just realized that too. Okay. Okay, so one action was to research. I guess another action too will be to treat this disease. Um, three... Mm, where should we where should we go with their stuff? Maybe we'll put down a railway line to Madrid. But our good railway men might be able to do the actually no, do you know what? They will put down a purification token into this into this region. And that'll be three. So researched removed purification token because of their ability and yeah maybe we'll do we will put down a we, we kind of need to start moving into maybe some red territories at some point in time because yeah so maybe we'll put a railway token up there because hopefully we'll start getting into those regions because our railway men will be able to do some things okay that is their turn uh, cubes are going to move towards their hospital and we will draw their player cards oh now they have some blue cards and a yellow card which are now very good at adding down purification tokens and helping us out okay let's infect some cities which will be Valencia oh gosh that's the third one in Valencia and Cartagena, which is, that's their second. Okay. Our railwaymen, who has one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven cards already. But I do think that they will connect their Toledo region with up going up into this area. So now we are we are doing pretty good at being able to spread ourselves out. So there's one action. Do we build the hospital in Toledo? Hmm. Because I have the Toledo card. I also have the Jan card. That might also be a thing. Huh. Hmm. I really don't know where to go with that. I also have the Malaga card. And the how do you call it? Cadiz, Cadiz, Cadiz card. They have some options on where they can put their things down. So and I do know Toledo likes to come up a few times. Maybe we purify the region nope hmm okay we've done one action actually you know what let's do it I'm gonna go two I'm gonna discard this card three to build that hospital in jam which actually removes their cubes and What's going to be our fourth action? Because mm, I don't think we need... Do we need extra actions? Not at this time. Can I get somewhere to 
give somebody no no because I can't get them there another blue card oh okay I think that's gonna be so I guess our another one could be we could just actually just do a pure no I don't want to do a purify action do another railroad action I was already built way out of Toledo Hmm. I'm not sure what my last action should be to do with um Hmm. I should probably just move somewhere and get a little bit closer to some people then I guess. Um Yeah, maybe I'll just move over to Oh, cuz then I can take them with me. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm going to move over with to the rural, no, do I move to the rural doctor? No, I'm going to move over to the agronomist. There we go. Okay, I think that is going to be my action. Sure, let's do it. Okay, moving patients. Now, I just have to do a quick read on this one because there are some that are closer, but I think think that they have to move along the fastest I just got to do the moving patients uh, when counting distance to determine the closest patient count line segments but ignore railway tokens if there are two more patients same distance okay okay so they are have to be they do have to be the closest ones so this one is one two three away he is one two three four away this one is only one, two away, so one of these is going to move up closer. Okay, and then they are going to draw a couple cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and I thought it was coming up here. There is our next epidemic card. So we'll increase the infection rate. We will draw a card, which is going to be in Albaquete. I have no idea where that is. It is right, right in, right in the middle, right staring me in the face here along our railroad. There, okay. And we will. Oh gosh. Okay, so that can come, and Valencia can come up. Which would if Valencia or Albuquerque come up, they um, will trigger like uh, some double outbreak stuff coming on. Oh, I forgot to move a token. I forgot to move a cube to. I forgot to move a cube to the yellow hospital. And I believe these ones are only two away. So I think. I think, I think, I think we can. And see, these ones are only one, two, three away. This one is one, two, three away. This one's only one, two away. So I guess one of these will move over there just like that. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Trying to make sure that Oh gosh, I'm scared. Could get some out could get some outbreak things happening here. Okay, and we're still infecting two, which is going to be way down here. Now this city down here. Gibraltar. It's got three. And Toledo gets another one. Okay. Over to our good rural doctor, which I believe the good doctor is going to have to come down here and deal with all of that. Even though they got some blue cards, they can maybe start setting up the blue hospital and get that disease researched. So we're going to come one. We're going to go two. We'll do three. Oh, I should probably just take them all out, hey? We're leaving one behind and then actually just moving all the way over to Coimbra because they have the Coimbra card to actually build the hospital over there in Coimbra. And hopefully they maybe draw maybe some blue cards along the way. Sure, let's do it that way. So they'll travel their railroad all the way over to Coimbra. Okay. P 
People are going to move towards their hospitals, which, zoop, there we go. And then another one right there. And we will draw there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll get rid of a black. They don't really need a black, and they really don't need a red one right now. Mm, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Guess they can keep they can keep the red one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, yeah, they can only just keep seven. Okay, we'll keep that one there. And then we will infect their cities, which are going to be Cartagena, which is now a third one. And Valencia, good thing one of those Valencia came up. We'll go over to our agronomist, which okay. Well, we gotta keep we gotta get some regions here under control. So definitely, let's move move one patient from their hospital. One. We'll come down here. Two, and then three. We'll discard this yellow card, and part of their action, we get to add an extra purification token. So we'll add three purification tokens to this region. So removed one, two, three, and I. Guess we can just do another, just remove another cube. Sure. Let's just do it that way. Okay. Patients are going to move. And I think this one is just going to move one over. And this one's going to move up one. Yep. Okay. We will do their, uh, we'll do their draw step. Oh gosh. Another blue card. Oh, and another yellow card. So they are going to be really good at putting out some purification tokens for us, I think, in the very near future. Let's infect their cities, which will be in JN. Okay, that's going to be a problem soon. And all the way up in the top into the north there, which is going to be a problem again. Okay. Railwayman, what you got? Two, three, four, five, six. They got seven cards. And I think that they are going to end up having to. Oh man, if they could really. Actually, the agronomist and the. <laughs> the agronomist and the rural doctor need to meet up to get some blue cards exchanged, I think. Railwaymen, though, I think you are just going to come up over here. One. We'll lay down some railway tokens here. Two, three, kind of like that. Okay, wait, that's right. That's just two. Um, actually, let's go. Let's go that route. I know it seems counterintuitive. So that is okay. So moved one, two, up here, three, four. Take away that red cube. Or we could actually just maybe just purify that region by spending a red card. Yeah, and then I would add two purification tokens to this region. Ah, and maybe we'll do it that way first. Two, three, four, five, six. Then they can still get another card here. And you know what? We can take we can give them an extra couple of actions here to maybe get rid of some cubes along the way. And then they for they can hold a couple more cards. So then we'll just do that to take away two more red cubes out of that region. Then we don't really have to worry about that region right now. Okay, I like that. Uh, patients are going to move towards their hospitals. Just like that. Dang it. 
and here we go we oh sorry we got to draw their two cards now ah, another yellow card oh and another red card interesting in fact they're cities ah karuna which is all the way up in the top there again oh and Barcelona, which has a purification token in it. So that's going to actually just take that away. Okay. Good old rural doctor, which is then, I think that we, our plan was we're going to build the blue hospital in Coimbra since they had that card. And now they only have a couple. They only, so they need some more. They need some more blue cards is what they need. So what do, what do they have? Okay. So that was one. Uh, we can go two, three. And four? No, no, no. Let's go back this way. Whoops. Go back to Coimbra. We'll go. So we built the hospital. One, two, three, four. Just because I see they have the Evora, Evoria card. And we can possibly get there a little bit faster, I think. Sure. Let's do it that way. Could I have had, could I have maybe done some purifying first? Maybe I should have done some purifying instead of. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's just, let's just stick with what I had. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh gosh, I think we're going to get a little bit of an overrun. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one is one, two. Oh, wait. This one is one, two, three. This one is also one, two, three. One, two, three. This one's one, two. They're all, actually, they're all three away. They are all three away. Now, since one can actually get there, there actually some of them can get there the fastest. Though I think I have to move those. When moving patients, when moving patients will move the fastest way they can, which means they will take the use of railroads if it's the fastest means to reach the hospital. If there are two or more routes that can that take the same amount of time, you may choose the route the patient takes from. When counting the distance, uh, move the closest patients. Matching the color of the hospital one step towards it. Counting the distance to determine the closest patient. Count line segments, but ignore railway tokens. Okay, so I guess I would have my choice then. Uh, so this one's one, two, three, and one, two. So they, they are all three away. So maybe I'll just use this one as my one that will move the... Will, will that will, Oh, wait, but it will always move the fastest. So if it had a choice, it would actually move that way. So maybe we'll just take these ones from down here and they will move forward just to buy us some time. And then we have these folks down here. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, so they're all three away. So we'll just kind of maybe we'll just move that one upwards. Okay, there we go. Let's draw the player cards. There's a blue one. Yes. Oh, and there's an epidemic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we got the epidemic, which is going to maybe cause us to have some issues. Salamanca. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's right there in the middle of all of us here. And all of these are going to get shuffled. Oh gosh, okay, so okay, so uh Jayon, yeah, Jayon. Uh Zargoza's not in there, and Salamanca are our trouble spots 
for us. Oh boy. Yep, probably should have probably should have purified a region or two. Also got to get on this thing because I'm starting to run out of player cards. Okay, so way up at the top here. And Toledo again. And now we are in three regions, so let's do it again. And Cartagena, that is... Oh, I didn't account for Cartagena. That is an outbreak. And they don't have very many... No, wait. Purification tokens, I believe... I believe purification tokens can help us with uh, outbreaks. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, remove purification tokens if necessary. So one would spread to here. That would take uh, that one out. One would spread to here, but that'll take this one out. And one will spread down to uh, Alamira. Okay. At least that's only our second one, right? There we go. So that was three. That was the three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So who are we on one? So we're going over to the agronomist, which we are going to have to get you purifying some regions. I am guessing. One. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to discard you. Two. And I can put some tokens in that region. Uh, three. I'll just take one out of there. And then I guess four. I'll move up to Toledo, I'm guessing. Sure. Just to kind of uh, help things help things along. Uh, okay, disease cubes are going to move. So, group that one's going to move over there, and this one's going to move up to there. Oh, now we got these blue ones that are going to start moving here. This one's one, two, three away, or one, two away. So, this one's going to move over to there. That actually might help. That's kind of like a benefit too of them moving. Could not they? Yes, they move towards the hospitals, and the hospitals get clumped together but they actually can spread out the ones from uh, that potential outbreaks could happen. Okay, we'll give them their player cards. A red one and another black one. Mm. Not what we were hoping for. And then three, so way down in the south here. Ah, Corona is a outbreak way up in the north there but at least it only spreads to a couple places and barcelona back over here again okay on to our railwaymen which is a quite a diversity of things one two three four five six they have their seven cards they do have a yellow one in hand Okay, so one. Okay, now where can they go? Um, hmm. One. Do, 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 do. Huh. Where is Braga? It's right over there, hey? Oh, that could help. One. Two. Three. And then their powers, when they move by train, they can take somebody with them. Four. Because then the rural doctor can take the Braga card away from from them and then therefore we can research the blue the blue card the blue disease okay that is going to help us out quite a bit let's move our patients which is going to be very bad Zoop. this one's going to move over to here and 
They are going to move over to there like that. Okay. Let's, oh, wait, draw the player cards. Two, three, four, five, six. They got about a seven already. A yellow. Mmm. We need to keep some reds around. Oh, maybe we'll just discard one red. And another one. Oh, that's a red card again. Mmm. Don't like doing it that way, but let's just do it that way. <laughs> Okay, so Valencia is going to remove that purification token. Jayon, but that's going to remove this purification token. And Salamanca is going to get their next blue cube. Okay. Over to the rural doctor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I think that the Rural Doctor is going to first spend a yellow card to add two Purification Tokens to this region. They can then take the Braga card from the Railwayman. Yeah. We can travel via train to Coimbra. And then, as our fourth action, spend five blue cards to research the blue disease. Okay, we are halfway there. Halfway there now. Okay. I think that's going to be the way we're going to do it. Our patients are going to move towards their hospitals, which, oh gosh, this is going to be bad. So this one's going to move there. I'm going to move this one over to here. And this one is going to overrun that hospital. So the outbreak marker moves up. We don't cause anything. But all of these patients are now going to spread out one town away each. So maybe I'll go one, two. Well, I know this town is actually not a threat to us. And neither is that one over there. So I'll just kind of do it that way. Just kind of spread them out. But that did in fact that did raise up the marker one. Okay. Draw our cards. Oh, place or move a hospital onto a city matching its color. Oh, we could get the red hospital out. Or we can move a hospital. Oh, we can move the blue hospital now which would actually clear up all the way up in the top there. But this could also get our red hospital out onto the board. Ooh, okay, let's hold on to that one for right now. And then, oh, look at that, another red card. Okay, maybe we will hold on to that one because maybe we can get that red hospital down. And as long as we can get some red cards to the rural doctor, that would actually be beneficial. Yeah, okay, let's do it that way. Okay, now we're going to infect our cities, which are going to be down over here. Whoa, whoa, nope, sorry, right here. Oh, that removes a purification token. Uh, Malanga, which is down over here. And Tar Tarragona, which is way up over here. Okay, there's, there's a lot of stuff happening over here. Okay, over to our agronomist, which can now actually they do a lot of purifying since they have blue cards. Seems like up the wazoo here. Let's discard a blue card now and add, since they're doing the treat water action, we can add some tokens to a region like this one right there. We can travel. That one's only got one token left. Let's go. Where are they? They can maybe do the build hospital. No. Okay, so wait. That was one. This 
this could be two. We could do three and four. Add one railway token right there. Okay. I'm thinking and thinking and thinking that's going to be our move. Things are going to start moving towards. So that one's definitely going to move closest. One of these is going to move closest to there. And this one is definitely going to move right over to there. Okay, we'll draw their cards. Okay, another black card and another black card. Okay, well, we got their choice of who's going to trade treating that disease. Uh, let's infect their cities, which is... Oh, gosh, I haven't seen that one in a while. Way up there. Zargoza, which is where people are going to. And Coimbra, which is where people are going to. Okay. Things are not looking the greatest for us. Oh, wait. Coimbra. A purification token should have went away instead. As Zar what was it? Zargoza. That was okay. And, and okay, that was okay. No purification tokens in those ones. Oh, right. On to our railwomen, which... Where are you going, buddy? Hmm. Well, we can take you to Burgos and give the red, or give a red card to our rural doctor. Oh gosh, that might actually be okay. Do we need to purify any regions though first? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go one. Um, two. Oh, gosh. Two. Three. And then four and end up in Burgos. Oh, gosh. That was quite the trip. Okay. Okay. Patients are going to start moving. Whoop. One. One. And one. I guess just like that. Oh, my gosh. Draw their cards. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's the epidemic card. We've been waiting for one of those ones to come up for a while. Dang it. I knew that that was coming. Grana oh dear lord that is not the place we wanted to see this granada right beside gian now wait i don't think that i think the out oh, i think the infect stabbed steps here draw the bottom card blah blah, blah. put the three excuse cards in the city already da, 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 da. Oh, each purification token prevents the addition of one cube. Okay, so then I could have... So then this purification token would ignore one of those cubes. Would cancel out one of those cubes. Dang it. And then we are going to... Okay, but Jayon is in here. Yep, there is. Uh, Zargoza is in here. Yep. And... Salamanca and Akaruna is in here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, is Cartagena in here too? Cartagena is in here as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a very well. I've done a good job of putting the purification, but now all the purification tokens have been used up on me. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Let's try it out. And we're still doing three. Okay, so Jeon is going to cause a outbreak. Goes bomb. 
bum and brum just like that okay that's one <laughs> Cartagena is gonna cause an outbreak and go boom and rump and rump like that and my third card is going to be <laughs> Renata which causes an outbreak boom boom and then goes to Jayon which causes an outbreak and we've lost the game due to outbreaks and I feel like we were just starting to gel but we only managed to get man that influx where they move towards the hospitals is ever so interesting but oh okay okay that is how it that is how the egg rolls sometimes I'm pretty sure I didn't play very effectively but hey let me know how exactly I did in this game and maybe give me a couple strategy points maybe because well, I did. Maybe I should have been using more of the purification tokens, but I was starting to get. I was kind of, kind of maybe need to load up down here just a little bit more, since that was ended up being my real big, then my real big hot spot. It ended up being. Oh well, it's just the way the egg rolls sometimes. That's pandemic Iberia. Please let me know how I did on this video. And if you liked this video, please make sure that you put a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And that notification bell is there to get notified every time that these new videos come out. And when I go live on Tuesday evenings. And if you'd like to help support the channel a little bit more, you can donate to my Ko-fi account. There is a link in the description of this video. If you would like to financially support the channel, um, and if you, if, especially if you're really, really enjoying the content, you want higher quality um, videos, by all means, throw me a few dollars my way, and maybe we might be able to make that happen one day. And also, if you would like to interact with me on my social medias, make sure that you're finding me on Blue Sky, Threads, Instagram, and Facebook all at Mr. Rao Gaming. You can also send me emails, Mr. Rao Gaming at gmail.com. And you can find me at the Tabletop Express Discord channel. I have my own space over there. Link in the description of this video if you would like to join that Discord channel. All right, folks, that's going to be it for me for today. So have yourselves a great evening, afternoon, or morning, depending on when you decided to watch this. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody.